Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where you will learn about pages and layouts in Next.js. So first of all, you need to know the basics about what a page is and what the layout is. So if you see over here and you have Next.js official website open in front of you. And if you notice, you have a top navigation bar or you can see the header over here. And then you have the main content in between. So that is a home page and this is how it looks like. And then you can see you have a table over here. So basically, if you notice, you have three columns and four rows. And then if you scroll down, you will see that you have all of these data and then at the end you have the footer over here. Now, if you navigate to any of the other page, let's say you go to the docs page. So you will see first of all, the path changes on the website and then you have a different layout style over here. So this has a left sidebar and a right sidebar and then in between you have some textual data. Now, all of the data that you see on this page is actually what the contents of the page are. And the layout is actually what you are seeing the difference between the two pages. So if you see over here, this is a home page. And if you see over here, it is a blog style page where you have sidebars and then the main content in between. So that is the difference between the layout and pages. Now let's move on to the Visual Studio course so that we can practically see how pages and layouts work in Next.js. So this is where we left off previously. The only difference that you see over here is that I have created a new app over here so that we can have references on github and you can follow along easily now over here if you notice inside the source so as we discussed this is the folder where we have all of our main files for the project you will see that you have the two files layout and the page.tsx so first of all let's visit the layout.tsx file and in here if you notice you have a root layout so root layout is basically an essential part of the layout and this is something that is followed along on all of your pages so in short whatever the root layout you have decided for your website will be reflected on all of your web pages. And then if you come onto the pages.tsx, you will see that you have some content over here that is being displayed on this page. Now let's move on and see how you can create a new page. So for that, what you need to do is, you need to go into the source app and create a new folder. And inside the folder, let's name it as dashboard. So let's say you want to design a web page for dashboard. Now inside the dashboard, you will create a new file and then name it as page.tsx. Then we need to give in the content. So for the content, I will just copy all of this. And you notice over here that the function for the home page is named as home. And then when we come over here and paste it, I will name this function because this is going to be our dashboard. And in here we can write any content that you want for this page. So I will just write down, this is our dashboard page. And then save it. Now moving on to our website, if you want to access this web page, you need to write down slash and then dashboard over here and hit enter. So now you will see that it will take you to our dashboard page. So you see how easy it is to create a page. So whenever you want to create a new page in your Next.js application, you need to create a folder for each of your pages. So if you see over here, it follows the same layout for both of these pages. Now let's see how you can change the layout and how does it really matters for the root layout and a dashboard layout. So first of all, we will go on to our root layout and let's say you want to add a navigation bar over here. So for that, what I will do is I will just go into my body and over here, I will add a new nav bar. So for that, you use the tag NAV and just write down the text. This is our main nav bar. Obviously, you won't have such a big text for your navigation bar, but this is just to explain you that how these things work. So you can see over here that you have the nav bar on your home page as well as on your dashboard. So you can see over here, whatever you have in your main layout, or you can say the root layout is being reflected on both of your pages, dashboard as well as your home page. Now, let's say you want something different on your dashboard, but you do not want that to appear on your main home page, right? So for that, what you will do is, Inside the dashboard folder where you have created the page.tsx file, you will have to create a new file again and then name it as layout.tsx. Now, whatever the layout you want on your dashboard page, you need to just create it over here. So for that, I will go to my previous root layout and over here, I will just copy this function for the root layout. Paste it over here and instead of naming it as root layout, I will name it as dashboard layout and over here what we will do is we will just remove all of these tags and everything that you have inside the return statement 
Now, one thing is very important over here to note that the HTML tags and the body tags can only be inside your root layout and not in all of your different web page layouts. This is because by default, Next.js doesn't create these tags. So you need to make sure that your root layout has these tags for HTML and body. So for now, I will just remove it from over here and then I will add a new section. And inside the section, as you see over here for the main layout, you need to call the children over here, right? So for that, what we will do is we will just use the curly braces and over here we will write down children. Now the children for this layout is actually the page that resides inside the dashboard folder, but not the main page, right? Just keep that in mind. So let's see how that works. I will just save it for now. And once you go to the dashboard, you will see over here that now you have this dashboard over here and this is the content for your dashboard page. Now, if you just remove it from here, and try to save it, you will see that it just disappears from here because you haven't called the children over here, right? So I will just keep it again. And now we will add a new nav bar over here. And inside the nav bar, we will say that this is the dashboard nav bar. Let's save it. And now you can see over here that on your dashboard page, you have the dashboard nav bar and the main nav bar but if you go to your home page you will only find the main nav bar over here and not the dashboard nav bar because we have created that layout inside the dashboard folder this means that whatever the layout you want to make for your dashboard page you can make it separate as compared to the main home page so with this i hope you have got an understanding of what pages and layouts are and how do they work and how you can create your different pages and different layout styles for them now in this session we haven't covered the styling and all those concepts we will be having different sessions for all of these styling and other components in our upcoming video sessions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.